Hey, how's it going, everyone? We're playing Hit and Run again. Now, you might be wondering, what am I doing next to the book burning van in the first level if we're in the seventh? Well, as you guys know, it takes a lot of money at the end game to, you know, buy everything. So, in between this episode and the last, I've been using this book burning car um, and doing this wager race right here on the hard difficulty, which ends up giving you quite a bit of money. So, um, okay, so, okay there you go. So, you can see that I've collected a total of... 3,645 coins, which should be enough to get everything I need. So if we go to mission select, we have 100%ed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We now just need to grab 6 and 7. All right, I just double checked if 5 was 100%. It is. So we just have to quickly run back to level 6. Buy all the costumes, run to level 7, buy all the costumes, buy all the cars, and then we'll go ahead and basically just start uh, finishing the actual story mode. If we walk into here, we can now purchase all of these costumes, and if my math was correct, we should be able to afford the rest of the stuff in the game. Now, if my math is wrong... Then that sucks for me, apparently. Bartman is definitely the one I would have used if I could afford it in the moment. Um, okay, so that is everything on this level. If we look, level progress. What are we missing? Vehicles. I'm missing a vehicle? Alright, let's see what I forgot. Oh, apparently I forgot to buy the armored car. Alright, fair enough. So there we go. Got the armored car level progress. A one hundo. Percent. Let's go ahead and hit up a save. And um, we're actually going to head back to level 7. But before we do that, I'm actually looking to go back to level 4. Or level 3. So if you guys remember, in the comic book shop, um, there was a comic book guy that said you need to collect all the cards. And you get to unlock something. Well, we have done that. We have collected all the cards so i'm wondering i know i think when i collected them all it, it already told me but i think now set. Ooh, I think Ooh. I just formatted my pants. talk to the squeaky voice teen at the aztec theater I need to find my stupid oh no no i don't want to actually start the mission itself okay so we got to go talk to the aztec theater level progress just to make sure okay so this one is 100 percent all right, well, I guess let's just do the extra extra thing while we're at it. Okay, so apparently the theater is down a little farther. So, let's head down there. Skirt. I hope these are recyclable. Yeah, it's this thing. It's the Krusty Burger. Get him away, dork. You're not right. Alright, what up, Squeaky Toy? Or Squeaky Toy? Squeaky Teen Boy. Oh, 3D and everything? That's how steroids work. He do be fast though. He is speed. Mm -hmm. Alright. <laughs> that's that. Alright, that's what we get for collecting all of the cards. Very cool. Alright. Back to level 7 here. That we've been kind of just beating around the bush. We've been just running around trying to do a bunch of whole bunch of different things. Now, we are here. Before we go to the story, once again, we need to go and purchase all of the stuff. We did all the races and 
all that stuff. I just need to purchase all the cars and the costumes. I know we purchased one of the cars already. I think the dealer, the car dealer is over here, right? Yeah, what up, my guy? I think I gotta buy one car from you. you just gotta Give. Yep, the Sears. Now, here's my problem. I'm actually slightly scared. Okay, that's the only car. Okay, so, um, oh, I'm like not even looking at what I'm purchasing. Yo, this hearse is actually really, really good. If you look at its um, stats, it's actually a solid car. Where is it? Hello? Yeah, look at this. This is a solid car. And actually, I'm going to be using it. Um, let's give it a little test roll. Let's make, let's see if it's as good as its stats say. Um, first initial run, it's definitely as good as the stats say. That's not bad at all. So, alright, maybe, uh, maybe we'll hit up one of these for at least a little while. Can I jump to my house from here? I can. Okay, we gotta go in the backyard. I know I can I can go to basically the quickie Oh yo my bad. I can go to Apu's or I can go to the Bart's room. I think I'm just gonna go to Bart's room and make it easier. Please tell me I have enough money for all the costumes. I'm kinda scared I don't. Oh, I don't think I will. I might have to do one more race. I didn't I totally forgot Oh, I'm not gonna have enough money. Totally forgot that I didn't buy the one car in Bart's level. So, I just need like 300 more coins. Four races later for me, but an instant for you. Come over here. 450. Evil Homer. And according to that, we should have all of the cars, all of the gags, vehicles, whatever. The only thing we need to do is the story missions. So as far as I'm concerned, I don't need a single penny more in this game. I have all of the collectibles necessary. We just gotta play the game now, the actual story, which is seems like we do less and less of when we because of all the collecting and all that other good stuff so let's go and grab where in the world what's up bro where is okay i think we're gonna go ahead and hit up the bandit Can you come and get me? i think overall this has actually been probably my favorite car other than i think my top three is the malibu the police car and this. I think those have been my top three. Honorable mention to the rocket car, the special car from the first level. Special shout out to that car, but it's technically not part of the main set. But yeah, other than that, I think this bandit car has been my favorite. It's just. I don't know why. I feel like more than any other car, I feel like more in control when using this one. Because I know it technically has, like, the same handling as a lot of the other ones, but this one's handling just feels better, if you know what I'm saying. Alright, either way, let's go ahead and start the next mission here. We gotta talk to the comic book guy. What's going on, my man? Hey, you there. Smelly Sam. What's going on? The alien craft is using some sort of tractor beam to suck up trespassers to their doom. Worst effects ever. ever. But that's real. Worst effects ever. Ever. What's with the cool black car? If my knowledge of sci-fi movies is correct, which it is, the black is. car is an advanced probe for the mother ship. Now, if you're through, I will spend my last hours on Earth complaining about movies on the internet. The gift of life is wasted on you. Yes, I recommend you obtain a zombie car. It will protect Common you Reddit user. Life. It runs on human brains. Slight drawback. I think, of think we already have one of those. Yeah, yeah, we already, we already bought it. So, <clears throat> I think we just have to equip it up. But yeah, that's how I imagine most, like, Discord moderators look and talk. Alright, let's hit up the zombie car. We have to Can fix it, but... Me? Thank God we have ten hey, coins to fix it, wrong. considering everything we just spent. Alright, find out where the alien car's headed. Sweet. Follow the car. 
Oakley Doakley, here we go. Where's the Where is the car? Oh, it just like spawns. Alright. No you don't. You're a child. Just go watch Bluey or something. I don't know, man. What are kids like nowadays? I used to watch Arthur on PBS. That was that was my jam. Actually, I didn't have Cartoon Network for the until I was like in my teenage years. So sadly, I wasn't hitting up the Cartoon Network. <clears throat> it was Nickelodeon and PBS. But even Nickelodeon really came up later in my life. I was definitely a PBS kid. Brought this networking brought to you by viewers like you. Something along those lines. You want to stop following me? I was like, bro, you want to go faster than the cops so neither of us get arrested? That'd be pretty money of you. Why are you getting in crashes with the police, man? Excuse me, trailer, trailer zombie. Well, that dude got smacked up hard. Mostly, I, I, I love these missions in particular because you, you can see the car like hitting pedestrians. But these pedestrians go flying, and it's not as funny when I do it. You know, when I do it, I'm like, uh, okay. But when another car does it, I, it's just actually hilarious. Talk to Frank. Alright, what up, Lingen guy? Yuck. Uh, and how does that affect me? Well, it could save the life of you and your family. And? <laughs> Look, I've loaded my vehicle with nuclear waste from the power plant. It's going to deliver this toxic payload to the alien ship. Think Risking myself. That would be dangerous to just about anybody, not just aliens. Which, if you've never undergone that, I can tell you it stings. What a hero. Stings. I never knew his name. Ah, uh, it's Professor John Frank. Are you still here? All right. Protect Professor Frank from the aliens. Deliver the nuclear waste to the spaceship. All right, we got the waste on our back. We're using Fink's really kind of cool hover car thing that doesn't drift, which is the weirder part about the car. I don't know if it's like, it just because it doesn't make the drift noise, my brain is subconsciously not counting it as a drift. But I don't think this thing drifts. I think it just does. I gotta really be careful. So I've already failed this mission once because I accidentally destroyed the nuclear waste on the back of it. So I'm pretty sure if I hit something hard enough, all of us just become radioactive, which is not very money. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. Oh, we're fine. Psych. Skirt. Bro, why are all of you in the way? I'm gonna I'm gonna need a little fix. Fix her up or give me that dog bone. Oh no. Don't mind me, I'm just avoiding the cops while carrying nuclear waste on a hover car in the middle of an alien slash zombie invasion. Very cool. Alright, I got 20 seconds to get to the playground? Um, oh yeah, that's enough. So, as long as I don't crash for the millionth time along the way. Whoop. Deliver your vehicle into the... Alright, here you go, bud. It's all yours. What did he just say? Ooh, hit him with a homer. Ooh! Laser distributing reality show filming monsters. I'm gonna need some more toxic waste. Can I Kobe on this? Just or Michael Jordan? Fine, I guess I have to go to the front of the school. Apparently, doors don't work from the behind. Oh, I need a disco nap. Let's go to the front of the school. Oh, Yeet. See what gag they have. Oh, spider pig, spider pig. Don't eat them, all right. 
I need to find some nuclear waste, and fast! Why don't you ask Mr. Burns? His buried nuclear waste has poisoned Springfield for years to come. Good old Mr. Burns. He'll save us. Thank goodness for nuclear waste. Find a source of nuclear waste before time runs out. Alright. That, that kind of sounds like the intro to that one Eminem song. Where is... Where is my vehicle? Oh, it's in the back. Alright, let's call up a new one. Uh, we're gonna continue. Oh yeah, because technically we have the zombie car. I don't want to use that thing anymore. Let's go ahead, <clears throat> grab up our. Of course, this is like the last one on the list. Let's grab up the bandit, the goat car. In my opinion, <clears throat> where am I going? Drive to the power plant, dude. We were just there like a second ago. Why didn't we grab some? Why didn't we grab it while me and Fink were there? All right. Either way, we gotta go fast. Where is he? Is he behind me? Well, I can just take a shortcut or two, and that will be fine. Yeah, we'll just uh, go a little here, do a little bit of that. Easy peasy. No problemo. Whoops. I still don't understand the role of cops right now. <clears throat> like why? Why do you want to arrest me? I feel like... Doesn't the world have enough problems right now? You know what? You want to take my money? Take my money. Take my money. I don't need it. En enjoy. Go grab an undead donut on me, my guy. Excuse me. Mr. Skeleton. Mr. Spook. Right, give me some more of that good stuff. Climb the wreck it. Oh, <laughs> we had so much trouble with this. We went up here to grab a card. Oh, Lord. Okay. This took me like 15 tries, and I had to climb back up each time. But I'm optimistic that I've gotten a little better at my parkour since the last time we did this. So let's give this a try here. Okay. Alright. We're kind of nasty. We're kind of nasty. Oh. Hit him. Hit him with a homer. Alright. Ooh. Yeah. I, I, I was thinking, did he disable those? Or, because he's standing right there, right? He, he wouldn't be so mean to keep him enabled. Yup. Bruh. I wasn't even there. What in the world? Alright, so we gotta jump here, and here, I don't, I don't know which one's what, but we made it. Ooh, Hans Budkins, is it you, Meriwether? Come to haunt me again? I killed you once, I- Mr. Burns, it's me, Homer Simpson! So you were not the ghost of my former partner? Whew. <laughs> well, that was, well. Look, I need to get some barrels of radioactive waste to save Springfield from the aliens. I agree. Illegal aliens are a nuisance. Not leaf blower aliens. Tentacle aliens. Do. In that case, here's the map to where I buried nuclear waste barrels all over Springfield. And the EPA wanted to find me. Bleeding heart liberals. I hope they bleed from the heart. Click. Deliver. Nuclear waste. Uh, how do I get out? Hello? Alright, uh, there's one. Lighter. Free shortcut? You love to see it. Yeet. Car. We gotta go. Oh, wait, we gotta go in the opposite direction. First one. Uh, I'm embarrassed. Drive to the school playground. Okie dokie, here we go. I wonder if we have to, like, grab one tank, drive to the playground, grab another tank, drive back to the playground. If we have to do that over and over again, I won't complain, but... That would be a lot of driving around. I might have to fix up my car, fix up my car in the meanwhile. Looks like I'm already halfway to exploding. 
Bro, can you stop uh, in, all up in my ear, dude? Sound. I'm not gonna even say it. Never mind. A little bit. I just gotta not hit anything up until I get to that dog bone up there. Yeet. Bruh. You don't mind if we just don't do this right now? I'm kind of busy. Kind of busy trying to save y'all right now? Please leave me alone. I have a family. I didn't do nothing. I'm innocent. Bruh. I love how they were just waiting there for me. So, I just gotta give him another one? Do I gotta, like, make my way to another car? Really not. You just gotta do it a second time. Alright. Talk to Snake. What's up, Snake? Who, dude? Me getting carjacked was a total switcheroo. Just go. What will you do if I don't? Flip you the bird. Okay, don't get freaky. Get in. Alright, collect and deliver. Oh, are we using the bandit? I was just using this car. It's almost like this was meant to be. It's almost like the bandit is the best car in the game. Y'all can't even deny it now. Roadhog dude. Also, I totally just noticed that when you start up this game, you know how it does all like the creators of the game, you know, the Fox, whatever. So one of them is Radical, Radical something gaming. And, oh. And when you like when it opens it it goes who and it's the voice actor for this dude I don't, I don't know how I didn't notice for so long but are we gonna get away from him now this is pod racing whoops how do I always manage to miss that the <laughs> suckers I hate his voice actor which is annoying but his Voice lines are just I, I just I can't help myself. They're right there. They're right there to imitate. I've really got to learn to enjoy my parole more often. Sure man. Go go get yourself some like bro yo or you know, go out to your local olive garden. I don't know man. Or like Go beat up the local drug dealer. I don't, I don't know what kind of fun he's into, but. Please don't trap me in here. Fine, take my money, you buttholes. Let's try again. Here we go. I'm actually not. Oh, wait, I, don't, I don't need to fix my car, so we're going to just go the normal route this time through the Tamako field. Bop. I feel like the town is not going to exist much longer, so... Alright, please, nothing under me, please. Honestly, this level isn't hard. I'm just a little... I'm a little dumb. And I... By the time I'm, like, two feet away from the school, I just keep forgetting there's actually something on the back of my car. And then I just tend to crash, and then I'm like, oh, oops. See, right, right here... Okay, good. None of them hit me. I made it basically the, through the entirety of the town on the corner right before the school and I just hit a I just hit a corner because I'm like whatever. Totally forgetting that. Oh, well, now I have to redo the whole mission, so that's cool. I hit this corner right here. This one right here. Like an absolute bumbling buffoon. All right, excuse me. Do you want the juice? Here's your juice, bud. Oh, he's going with them too? All right, see you later, dude. Dude. <laughs> Who's next? Talk to Grandpa. Yo, let me see your World War II car. I bought it with my social security. Thank you, Uncle Sucker. Give me a lift. I gotta save Springfield. Now you're not gonna sacrifice me for the greater good, are you, son? We'll see, Dad. We'll see. Oh. 
I'm assuming Reason is World War II car, right? Okay, tell me if I'm tripping or not, because I think when we unlocked the World War II car, I never actually ended up driving it. Did the World War II car always come with a weird booster? I don't think so, right? Because this car is, like, super fast. Like, almost as too fast to handle, to be honest. This thing is, like, kind of, like... I, like, you guys know, I am speed, but even this might be a little too much speed for you, boy. I straight up can't control this car. The, this little rocket booster is too much. Please move out of my way. I'm trying to head to the beaches in Normandy right now. Oh. I made it through that door with, like, a hair. Please leave me alone. Fine, take my money. Just don't, don't, just don't, please just don't slow me down. Of course, you slowed me down by turning me backwards. Out of all the places they could place me, they placed me backwards. You guys are mean, man. Soon. Skirt. Of course, I... This car is so fast, it hits the top of the barn. Okay. Fair. Give me too fast of a car. Alright, collect the waste. Yo, we actually only got a minute to go. Turn around, turn around. Yeet. Alright, take the special juice up to the ship again. Kind of hoping this is the last one. It's not gonna lie, these missions are so annoying, dude. The fact that there's, like, cops just makes everything a million times worse because they just crash into me and just blow me up. Excuse me. Woo! I need to grab a wrench. Stat. Write me a prescription right now. I'm surprised my entire car didn't want to blow up just then. All considering. Excuse me. Alright, let's try to get past this car. Oh, ho, ho. I almost just, uh... Oh, thank you for just kind of stepping to the side. That was real nice of you. Still got to get away from him, though. Alright, now I just got to do what... I... Not do what I did before and just absolutely smack the side of the baseball diamond. That'd be pretty cool, too. Just a little out of control. Please don't come after me. I'm innocent. Yep. Alright, here we go. Stop, stop, stop. Here we go. Here we go. Easy peasy, dude. See you, Grandpa. My bad about the whole car thing. Spaceship crash. Foolish Earthlings finale is number one. Space rating soar. Out of you for rescuing us all from that alien invasion. Did that really happen? I thought it was a bad dream after eating too many raw hot dogs. No, homie, you're the town hero. Sweet. And the ninja babysitters? Was that real or a hot dog dream? Hot dog dream. Dad, your fans want you outside. Fans. Oh, those fans. Is that it? Did we do it? At least our show was a success. Why did we go to Earth Heaven when we died? Well, at least we don't have to sit through the stupid video game credits. No! Alright, that's the game. 
All right. Well, time for the thing. The thing where I tell you if I enjoyed the game or not. Not surprisingly, I did. I thought it was a fun game. Um, like most games from my childhood. Was it as good? Bro, shut what are they even saying? What is the difference between an associate producer and a producer anyway? Well, if you ask me, these humans spent too much time exchanging long protein strands with one another. <laughs> Not surprisingly, this game is just as good as it was when I was a kid. Um, maybe I was a little dumber as a kid, so the game took me a little longer to do. Um, this game took me like just a couple, uh, one or two days, and even this is like working days basically. Um, so it wasn't like super hard, really just the last level, <laughs> just really annoying with all the cops. Um, the game is real fun though, seeing the map is probably the best part, you know, just driving around Springfield is great. Um, seeing all the cars is pretty cool, the costumes are all pretty cool, the characters are all pretty cool. Um, yeah, there's really not really a reason to not play this game, it's, it's a great game, again, it's not too long, it's not too hard. Um, 100 percenting it isn't really that bad. You know, I had to do like an extra maybe two or three hours of grinding for money. It wasn't really that bad. Um, so yeah, overall, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Not a bad game. Well, I'll give it a 9 out of 10 because the police in this game are very annoying. So, I think next, we're probably going to hit up Simpsons Road Rage. Because that's like the other big vehicle game. I remember that one being pretty good too. I know that it's not like open world and you can't like get out of your car like this one, but I still remembering it. Uh, remember it being a pretty good game, so we're gonna go ahead and hit that up. Um, but yeah, guys, can we skip the credits? Okay, cool. Level complete, one hundred percent. Would you like to save this game? Yes. And with this save, we not only were one hundred percent of this level, we also 100% of the game. So let's go and continue here. Yeah, so I don't know where it's going to take me next, but the game is officially 100%. Yeah, so load game, scrapbook. Technically, the scrapbook should be full, so open book stats. So level 1, yep, 100%. Level 2, 100%. Level 3, 100%. 4, 100%. 500%. 6, 7. So that is everything now what is the game stats i'm very curious about my game so oh this just tells me more of every so yeah game complete 100 percent official in 4k caught in 4k the game is 100 percent finished um bonus game there's a bonus game i want to play the bonus game select the track and number oh okay well, let's just do this track then. Let's do three laps. I love how it's just the Simpson family and then just like a poo. That's, I still think that's so random. All right, let's hit up Marge. What car? Ooh, we're definitely hitting up. Is the yeah? Okay, no. I want. I don't want to hit up the Bandit because I always use that. Let's try to hit up something pretty cool. Like what's something that I don't normally drive? Something a little wacky. Something a little out there you know let's give the malibu it's it's due i call it like one of the best cars in the game not like by stats obviously not by stats but just like i just love the car i think it looks nice let's hit up marge in the malibu let's see if we can actually maybe do this race is that maggie or is that lisa oh what in the world is this oh it's like a top down Oh, this is weird. Uh, I don't know if I like this. This is weird. Is that one dude driving that rail car from, like, I think it's bonus for the le second level? That dude's a mad lad. That thing was so hard to drive. It was slipping and sliding, dude. Actually on skates. Well, I guess we'll, just for the sake of finishing, we'll just try to win this one. Keep going, Malibu. Keep going. No, your cheeks. No, don't go in front of me, please. I'll be embarrassed. Think of the YouTube viewers. I'll be embarrassed, please. Okay. Alright, just gotta round these two corners without crashing, and we'll be good. 
Here we go. What does this mean? Alright. Race is over. I win. Because I'm sick. Race again? No, I'm good. I don't want to race again. Very cool. So that's the bonus game. Just 3D driving. Or not 3D driving. All this is 3D. Third person driving. Alright. I think that's it. I think... Let's resume the game. I'm, I'm very curious to see where it'll take me. Look, is this the first level? I think this is the first level, right? Does it just shoot me back to the beginning of the game? Seems like it does. All right. Well, guys, let's go to my favorite place in the game and we can end off not only this video, but this series next to my favorite gag. Thanks for watching. It's a great game. Just download an emulator, play it. It's... You know, I got a, I got my controller here. Get a controller. It's a lot of fun. Highly recommend, guys. Thanks for watching.